must have been aluminium. Yeah, they're all monocoque aluminium cars. And um, the te technology didn't change until probably the 80s when carbon fiber came along and um, actually put a lot of us out of business. With the last few cuts to the brass, the body is almost finished and we are ready to take her back to her home. The huge towering bends at Brooklands. When we started this project, we had an old Model T chassis in a shed, plus some black and white photos of a car that was once a golden star. It looked a simple job, but it took five months. Now, this star is rekindled and back where she once shone, the racetrack at Brooklands. Soon we hope to reunite her with her owner and watch him burn rubber up the famous Brooklands Test Hill. But first, there's an even more dangerous challenge. Well, today's the day we bring the Model T back to its original racing track at Brooklands. And this race... ...to die. If it was dangerous then, it's even more dangerous now. It's full of enormous cracks and it's completely covered in moss and lichen, which make it extremely slippery. And I know we won't be able to change Claire's mind, but I really am worried about her driving on this. Then, as if to underline my fears, a fire tender turned up all the way from Heathrow. But oblivious to it all, Claire already had the engine sparked up and was getting some last-minute... 